Hello, this is a little TeamSpeak 3 tutorial and it's more of a avoid certain tutorials kind of video because I've had comments about how do you, because I've seen my video on how TeamSpeak servers get hijacked and they've downloaded uh, TeamSpeak hijacking programs so what I'm going to show you is one such program uh, that I made. There is a point to this, a legitimate point, so please do watch and also share this video with certain people. I'm sure you know which ones. Okay, so I'm going to connect to a server and I am going to get admin in this server. Okay, you can see I'm an unverified guest I have no privileges in here whatsoever. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. All right. So I'm going to run this program here. TeamSpeak 3 Server Admin Hijacker. Now what this is doing is this is creating random privilege keys. So I'm going to press this button to generate one and display it to me instead of all of them at once okay so now here's a code I'm going to copy that and I will go to permissions use privilege key paste it in <gasps> look at that privilege key successfully used now I am the server owner and I have the capability to do everything now what you just saw was garbage Yes, I've seen YouTube videos that do this exact same thing and they say, hey, download this program and you too will be able to own someone else's server. Well, let me show you what this program is, this little TeamSpeak hijacker. I wrote this in five minutes. Here we go. Here is the real privilege key that I specifically made in the server. I went into privilege keys and created one for the server owner server group or as you would see in other tutorials that they have server admin because it's a completely fresh server and what happens is this little function here is creating totally bogus random legitimate looking privilege keys but whenever I press a button that's on that screen that you saw it stops generating random keys and it puts the real key into the box so it looks like I just basically stopped the program from making random ones just to show me one specific one that it just made and what happens is these programs that you download because you or someone you know I'm sure you know who that person is somebody wants to hack someone's team speak so they go and download one of these programs they are filled with viruses malware they will hack you they will hijack your system they will keylog you they will steal your passwords they will possibly even copy your uh, team speak identities so that if you do have legitimate admin in some servers they could get your list of bookmarks and all of your identities and now they can own your server legitimately using your own identity so please please make sure this video gets into the hands of the kinds of people that you know who will be trying to hack people's team speaks and falling victim to these fake programs that they show it to you even working on a YouTube video like I just did only I debunked it because I made this one myself just to demonstrate the danger if this was one that you found uh, one such thing like this on a video the chances are you just got a virus or something so I just wanted to make this short little video just to demonstrate the point because I've had at least two people in all the time I've been doing these TeamSpeak videos, comment about, well, what about the ones that you can get a privilege key in someone's server? You didn't cover that. Well, the reason why it wasn't covered is because it's bogus. 
a privilege key has to specifically be generated by a server admin. You can't just magic them up or generate them out of thin air because the, the number of the possibilities, the combinations of all of those characters, they're 40 characters long. You have got more chance of being hit by a meteor when you're in the middle of your street in the next two seconds and you're not even in the middle of the street right now. That's how likely you are to generate at random a privilege key which will work in a particular person's server. So please don't do it, okay? And make sure your friends, family, whoever that you know would be into hacking a TeamSpeak server gets this because they need to understand this before they get compromised, shall we say, for their trouble. So I hope you found this tutorial enlightening and I will see you on the next one. See ya.